Combustion is the type of reaction when something reacts with oxygen. So the classic type of combustion reaction we know about is where uh, a fossil fuel is burnt. So whether it's petrol or wood, etc. Uh, when that burns in the presence of oxygen, it releases carbon dioxide and it releases water. So let's do an example of a fossil fuel and that is methane, CH4. So it's a hydrocarbon or a fossil fuel because it's got hydrogen and carbon in it. And that burns in the presence of oxygen. But remember, we need to get our molecular formula correct. So it's O2. And that is going to burn or combust in the presence of oxygen and it's going to produce carbon dioxide get the formula right, plus water. Now let's go through and make sure that that's balanced. One carbon, one carbon. Four hydrogen, two hydrogen. Okay, so we have to put two here. So now we've got four hydrogen, and now we've got two water and two water. Uh, sorry, two oxygen and two oxygen. See, so two oxygen and two oxygen. So we have to put a two here, and we've done it. All right, so burning of fossil fuels, hydrocarbons in the presence of oxygen, complete combustion gives you carbon dioxide and water. So complete carb uh, combustion, that means that there's enough oxygen available and it burns completely and all it gets produced is carbon dioxide and water. Incomplete combustion is, occurs when there's not enough um, oxygen available. So it doesn't produce CO2. Okay, so we'll do um, uh, CH4 again, okay, change colour pen, so CH4, so again, we're burning methane, okay, in the presence of oxygen gas. Now, we don't produce CO2 because there's not enough oxygen, so we produce CO, which is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is very, very dangerous, because what it does is it binds to hemoglobin, which is the, um, uh, the part of our red blood cells that transport the oxygen. Now, it binds to the hemoglobin very, very strongly, much stronger than oxygen does, and it binds and it never lets go. So the hemoglobin is all full of carbon, carbon monoxide, and so therefore it can't transport oxygen, and the, um, the organism, or this person, uh, often dies. So it can be very, very serious, and it's odourless. Um, you can't see it. Uh, very frequently occurs when there's an internal combustion engine, like a generator or something, running in a confined space. So carbon monoxide. Water is also produced. Okay, and now we need to go ahead and balance that. So let's go ahead and balance that one. Okay, so we start with one carbon and one carbon. So that's fine. But we've got four hydrogens here and two hydrogens here. So let's, I expect we're going to have to do more than this. So let's just put a little two there for, um, to help us out. But see if we need to do more. So now we've got four hydrogens. Okay, how many oxygens? Two oxygen here uh, plus another oxygen. So that's three. Okay, so let's think. We can't have one and a half times this oxygen here. So... Let's go ahead and say three oxygen. Okay, so three times two is six. So now we've got six oxygens here. Okay, now, so if I say four oxygen here, four, because four and uh, four hydrogen, four times two hydrogen is eight hydrogens. So I put a two in front here. So we've got eight hydrogens, eight hydrogens. Um, but now we've got two carbons. So I've put a two here, two carbon, two carbon, eight hydrogen, eight hydrogen. Now let's have a look at our oxygen. Four oxygen, six oxygen, six oxygen. That was a hard equation to balance. 
it's harder than you'll need to do this year. So thanks for uh, persevering with me. Let's do this one, aerobic respiration. Remember Mrs. Gren last year? Aerobic respiration is when your body, your cells, take um, glucose, C6H12O6, okay, again, it's a hydrocarbon, okay, it's glucose or sugar. We burn it in the presence of oxygen and we produce carbon dioxide and water. Now, this is the reaction that keeps us alive. What's really cool is it goes back that way. It's actually photosynthesis, but more on that another time. Let's go ahead and balance it. Okay, so we need a six there. Um, because that means we've got six coming. I'll just go ahead and do it for you because I know the answer and the answer is that. <laughs> okay, again, it's way harder than you'll have to do this year. The last type of combustion reaction that we're going to look at is corrosion. And this is where we've got a metal and oxygen that gives us a metal oxide. Now this is commonly known as rust. Okay, so here's an example. Let's do magnesium plus oxygen gives us magnesium oxide. Now magnesium is 2 plus, oxygen is 2 minus, okay, so they uh, cross over and cancel each other out. Um, now we just need to balance it. This is an easy one to balance, you should be able to do, do this one yourself. Okay, we've got two oxygens on this side and only one on this side. So the only thing we can do is put a two here, two oxygen, and oh, now we've got two magnesium. Now we've got two magnesium and we're done.